Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Right now, it's time to look at the stories making headlines in our national dailies. And joining me to review this paper is Ezekiel Inya Etok. He's a public affairs analyst. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, and thank you for having me. Good morning, thank sir. You. Good morning. Good to have you here. So, so we're going to start with the punch this morning. And the major headline on this one says, Tinubu, gov Tinubu government, um, governors meet over food crisis as Emma's um, NBA lament hardships. I'll take that again. Tinubu governors meet over food crisis as M Emma's NBA lament hardship. And the writers on this one says, President's governors meeting to prefer solutions, monarch, NBA laments, economic crunch, and insecurity. Also, another one here says, Federal government distributes free 42,000 empty grains and Ogun governor polls um, Ogun governor rolls out five billion naira intervention plans um what are your thoughts on all of this um Tinubu who is the president of the federal republic of Nigeria the governors they are all meeting and over this food crisis but MS um I'm sure other kings as well and the NBA they're lamenting over the hardship in Nigeria what's your what's your take on this okay um let me start with the president and the governor's meeting over food security or insecurity in the country. Mm. My first question is, what are they meeting to discuss? Are they asking themselves why things are the way they are? Do they not know? We will continue to have food insecurity on account of the insecurity in the land where farmers cannot go to the farm that's no rocket science yeah so the question is how do we tackle insecurity i have almost at the risk of sounding like a broken record said one two three things number one is there's nothing that deters crim you know, criminals more than fear of being caught. Today, there is technology that you can scale up that fear, and not just the fear, but produce results. I've said this before, and I'll say it again today. When I wanted to be the governor of Akwaibom State, I mapped the state into concentric circles where any information I got in any part of the state, a drone will give me an aerial view of that particular place within five minutes. Five minutes. Nigeria has 777, 74 local governments. If you have 10 drones, that is... 7,774 centers. Multiply that by two, say about 15,020 drone centers. That will give you about 30,000. Now I ask a question, what is the cost of technology for drones at that level, special drones, not ordinary? Multiply that figure by 30,000. Multiply it by 50,000. What does it come to? Now that will also employ a certain number of young people who handle this thing remotely. You don't know where they are. There's a certain contract. There's a certain training. There's a certain understanding that you have with them. You can cross, you know, move. Some drones can do a kilometer. Some drones can do five kilometers. This is no rocket science. What that means is that you deploy the police based on specific verifiable information. When you have these things, and it, just the talk of it, you can hype it such that they know that, and you find a way of establishing one and putting it online. That is one way as a deterrent. All these contracts and buying being put around, things like that, that you can stop it. I know the budget that you have 
for uh, the, 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 the defense ministry, break that budget into two major subheads, equipment and then the human capital or human resources. Make the people happy and then go technology wise. Even the army themselves can be trained and repositioned in ways that they can become useful because I'm sick and tired of us coming here every day and discussing this thing. And it sounds like we are helpless. We are not helpless. If they don't want to do it, let it be on record that they do not want. So when they meet with Mr. President, it's a question of deploying this technology, localizing it, and why I kept multiplying is that there are two types of situations you must deal with because I had experts to, 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 to um, kind of drill me on this. One is that there's what you call ungoverned spaces. Some states are really large and there are lots of areas where you, you, they are not covered. You, 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 you fill those areas with different drones. And the second is the, 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 the metropolitan cities, you know, the state uh, capitals. You also saturate them with a lot more. So you've done a mapping of the state. You do the concentric cycle, circles, and then you deploy the drones and you put them there. That is, I want somebody to tell me, I'm still waiting for somebody to come and tell me that that doesn't make sense. Because then you have real-time information, you have real location information, so you don't have people praying planks, uh, pranks on the police. Oh, we are here as a decoy. You go there, meanwhile, they are at the other place. And then the police will tell you, oh, we are not familiar with the territory, or the territory is difficult to access, or one thing or the other. The moment you know where they are, you just follow, you follow. They are, it is their brothers that will call them and say, oh boy, watch this channel, though. They are following you with the people that you, and wherever you go to, they will follow you to the end. They will see you there. How many drones can you shoot down? Try that at least, something outside the box, something a little unconventional. That is one thing. All so right. The press, yes. Okay, so uh, there's something I just want to highlight here. If you look at daily trust, I mean, still on this whole um, food security stuff. Anyways, daily, daily trust, um, Major headline here says hardship. Nigeria sitting on a keg of gunpowder, and that's being said by the Sultan. But here is my question: Federal government says we'll distribute um, forty-two thousand metric tons of grains for free. That's what the federal government is telling the citizen, and you know other riders here are saying no crashing. No, crashing food prices is better. And another one says can and be a demand for concrete action. Um, and Zulam, Abiodun, so on, Lu, unveil measures. But here we're talking about 42,000 metric tons of grain for free by the federal government. Do you think this is going to happen? And is this even the way forward, distributing this 42,000? Is that enough for the whole citizenry? Um, citizenry? Or is crashing yeah. the prices not better? Or ensuring that we have more food, you know, more supply at a cheaper rate? So is, is 42,000 metric tons going to do justice for everyone? Let me, let me tell you this, and I'll say it with every sense of responsibility. One of the worst things that have happened to us is the peak is election period. We run a constitutional democracy. So there is a way it operates. For four years, you are going to give a mandate to a certain person called Mr. President, a certain person called Mr. Governor, before you don't have National Assembly and then the State House of Assembly. These people will take policies that will run the system. That is what government and governance is all about. Consequent upon this, the man that you send to the National Assembly, the man that you send as your president, the man that you send as your governor, if they do not have in mind to work for the people, you are doomed. Now, what we have, with all due respect, an exception to a very, very small few, these are people who get into government, they can kill, they can do anything, and you think it is to go and serve you, they pay you, you collect their money. These guys are not interested in your welfare. It, it, it's an enterprise for them. 
They pay you to get into government and make money. That is why when you, some governors I'm told, when they get the budgetary allocation, the first thing they do is bring all the security votes, bring all this money they have, and then head to the Bureau of Exchange, change them into dollars and keep. And we continue to have a lot of wahala on our head with respect to the dollar, you know, Nigeria exchange rate, which directly impacts on everything, including fuel importation, every single thing. But come down to the drains you asked about. There is what I believe that Nigerians should go for, and that is cerebral governance. Cerebral governance. Why would you, not having resources, having a system that is very porous, is unaccountable, nobody can tell you, like, trade that money, how you are going to do it, and all these humanitarian things. Now, you want to tell me that 42,000 um uh, for tons. two thousand uh, tons of grains, of grain. mm -hmm. you want to distribute it free. Who believes you? First, nobody believes you. Mm -hmm. Secondly, fraud will come inside corruption. Third, the forty-two thousand tons will just fizzle into thin air. Why don't we say something like, "Let's look at certain people." You know, the more the demand, the higher the prices. So if you exclude certain people from the market demand, what you end up having is that the demand becomes lower and the price is lower. Why don't we say every teacher, let's assume that this 42,000 you know, goes into 1,000 per state and the MCT, which is 37,000. And then the differential, you can think of what to do. Every teacher, you are going to get the grains at 50% subsidy, let us have the profile of every teacher. Let's start from somewhere. Hmm. Why don't you say every civil servant, you are going to have these at this rate. Not free, not free. So is it that not way you start to see ghost workers come in? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's... Yeah. See, you see, thank you. There is there are, there are many ways to catch a rat. Mm. That a rat. There are many. You see, bring me into the room, sit me down for just one hour, and I'll tell you something that will make you to clog certain holes. All this wanting to please everybody. It is only lazy brain that believes it can try, you know, solve all the problems, make everybody happy. No. If we had a government before today, like um, President Obasanjo took education, and then maybe President Yaradua came in and took health care, and then maybe President, you no, know, just like that, mm. taking one sector at a time and doing something. I today, a lot of our problems, but you, you want the, 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 the president to solve all the problems, and common sense tells you it doesn't, it's, it's not possible. Do you understand me? Today, I'm the, in the housing committee of Mr. President, the new Renewed Hope Agenda, and I've told him something. After Shagari housing, we've not heard anything. Can the president just make a name in this area of housing? We tell them the job creation, we tell them this, we tell them everything. You understand me? Can you make a name there? So coming back to the drain, drains again, I want to, anger because I just want to make a point. Just look at teachers. Look at civil servants below a certain level. Do you understand me? Share it per state. Make it open. Make it 50%. So that the money that... Don't make it free. The money you collect, you see how you can reinvent that, reinvest that money. Yeah, maybe concerned and, about ghost workers anyway, because we see that happen a lot. In especially yeah. in the civil service, there are so many people let that me don't tell go to you, work. Me, uh, so, but the sister, moment you say that, right, sister, there's every let possibility me tell you that people would come and they're let not me working. leak a little secret. Okay. Let me leak a little secret. I have worked very, very well with NLC. Very, very, very well with NLC. The moment that you leave it in the hands of of um NLC yeah. in the state. Because they don't want to lose. Forget the governor. No. NLC, bring out your people. 
Nobody wants to be shortchanged. It is the workers in each of the departments that will tell you, no, this man does not work with us. Because there's a template that is shared to go to all the different sections and departments. So those people for preservation of self-interest are going to tell you, no, 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 this person is not here. Because instead of giving me half a bag, you want to give me a quarter bag because they are saying, no, 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 these guys are not there. They will generate the list themselves because they don't want to be shortchanged. There will be not one ghost worker anywhere. Mm. So long as you bring this thing, these are things that I sat down with with, 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 that's why people said I did not campaign because I didn't do that loud noise. So, but I sat down, I sat down with NLC for about three hours. Me and them in a special chamber. We sat down for about three hours and we brainstormed on ghost workers, on worker welfare, on packages, on possibilities. And they said, sir, if you can come in and implement this where we know the details, I'll tell you, you'll be the best governor that we've ever had. What am I trying to say? Ghost workers come when you allow your gas to make the money. But when you move it to the people and say, this is for you, they will make sure that it's like in political money. You give the police, they'll say, no, 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 this guy is here. We're only 10 here. How about the other guy that said, gave, no, 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 we're 10 here. We share for the 10 people. Don't bring anybody that was not in the meeting. Mm. That is how it works. Okay, uh, well, let's move to daily trust. Um, even though on... Punch, I wanted us to look at the fact that federal government will borrow over two trillion naira mm -hmm. via bonds. But um, the interesting uh, story on daily trust is 60 reps proposed bill to return Nigeria to parliamentary system. And I'd like to know what you think about that. I, I think that those reps, their names should be made public and their people should hail them. And on account of the public accolade that they have others will want to join the bandwagon we are spending too much on our legislature and we are spending too much on our executive we are running a system of governance that shares money and does not believe in good governance so i really look forward to the list of those 60 people i will publish them on my page and I will find a way of getting across to their constituencies to say that these are people who mean well for you because the amount we are spending on the National Assembly is absolutely preposterous. And the returns on such investment does not make a businessman like myself to be happy. You go and buy each of them SUV at 160 million, for goodness sake. What is that? How does that affect the price of Gary in the market? So I think that I completely agree with these 60 legislators and I want them to be made public and I want their constituencies to hail them and I want the others to join them, follow suit, and let us know those who object to it and their reason. Let's have a, 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 a very, very a robust engagement and deliberations and, and let us put the pros and the cons and then eventually take a decision that puts governance at the root of the essence as captured in chapter two, section 14, subsection 2B, that says that the security and welfare of the people shall be the primary purpose of governance. Okay, uh, another headline um, is a very small headline down there. Power supply threatened as federal government owes gas companies discourse three trillion uh, Naira. Uh, so the federal government has even said that they will stop subsidizing power and you know there's no subsidy in in power there's no subsidy in education there's no subsidy in food there's no health and nothing there's no subsidy now in power they want to remove subsidy as well because they say they cannot keep uh, paying uh, the huge amount of money that they are paying I don't know what you think let me tell you something I came in one day to my house and discovered that I had light, but my meter was blank. Now, that would have been sweet. And it continued for about a year. My meter was blank and I had power. Now, it means for a year, I had 
at power without payment because without when your meter is blank, you cannot pay for it. It so happens that it's my Abuja house that I don't stay there, nobody is there. But my wife said, we cannot take this risk. So we went and repeatedly, repeatedly, you know, complained. We can't really charge because, but we have power. We wrote it down, got them to stamp it, and we'll get back to you, we'll get back to you. In Nigeria, you must know that a day will come. This country, we have data, we have statistics, so we have everything. A day will come. Then, about a week, two weeks back, they came. They gave me the exact consumption of that meter that was not working. They had it at the back. I don't know how they did it. They gave me the exact, they gave, brought out the printout. But my saving grace was that we showed them all the letters that we did. Consequent upon which they were now to able to calculate the time. First, they did a little fraud. They use the current rate to calculate everything. I said, no, I'm too intelligent for that. <laughs> Break it down per regime. They broke it down per regime, calculated it. I paid. And I came home. I was happy. Now, by next week or within this week, they'll bring me a new meter because that old one I don't want again. What am I trying to say? When you know that as a Nigerian, have the mindset that you pay for what you consume, You'll be careful to know what you can and what you can't. What's the relevance? It is that we are extremely wasteful because we believe we can beat the system. Mm. The power that we consume, when you know that you pay, the metering should be very, very, whatever the rate is, it's like petrol subsidy we are doing. We are burning fuel, doing a lot of things that we have no business doing. Federal government does not have the money for this subsidy. That's the simple truth. Because they are subsidizing wrong things, their lifestyle, the next election. So the money that is there, the Bible says that he that has more will be given. He that has not, even that which you have, will be taken from you and given. So with the, what should come to the poor man, they are still taking from the poor man and giving to the rich person. So let us come down, have an honest conversation tell ourselves that we don't have money as a country and that our resources are not being exploited. For instance, there's so much resources from each of the states, but the state governors are just, many of them are just blank on what to do other than to share money. Yeah. So let us reject the system and bring it such that all the subsidy, they don't have the money, they are owing too much. So I think that they should play down on subsidy Look at targeted subsidies that will benefit the poor exclusively. Whatever that costs, like social housing, they should go ahead, bring a template where the poor man becomes the beneficiary. Once that is done, I'm cool with subsidy. How can you be subsidizing petrol when I know the number of SUVs that I have? My, my villagers, the, the, the fuel I consume in a week, the whole of my village will not consume in a month. So who are you subsidizing? You're subsidizing me, not my villagers. I know the number V8 engine. I know what I have. And I can say so because I've worked. I'm at retirement. I, I made provision for me to have a good life when I end. Do you understand? Okay. But the poor man on the street does not understand that. I drive my SUV and they are saying, look at those thieves. Because of that, I can't even enjoy my life. You want to go somewhere, you can't, what you've worked and put together, God helped you to save over the years, you can't even enjoy because they, they, they can't draw a line between an honest man and a, 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 a corrupt politician. Drive a very good SUV, stop in a holdup or in a traffic or something. The average man looks at you, when he passes, the look he gives you, you are one of them, you are my problem. And God who sees the honest man will continue to be there for him because the Bible says when a man's ways pleases God, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. So I want to say that we should play down on this using the poor 
to, to, to okay to, so to, so so i agree with you i mean you should pay for what you consume that's fine right if that's the cost for the electricity why not i mean just pay the tariff but my question now is are you going to see this electricity because we're talking about power for the past two days i've not had power in my house <laughs> i've had to be running on diesel which is very expensive. I don't mind the fact that, you know, you should pay for what you consume. But am I going to, are you going to provide this? Because there's one thing to hike the price and there's another for me not to even say the power. So are we sure that we're going to get power? Constantly. Even, even if it's not 24 hours, but at least a good yeah. number of hours. Yeah. Two things. I, I spend the whole day at, at, the, at, the, uh, at their office. Mm. You know, yesterday, a good part of my Valentine was spent with them because, you know, such times it helps me to interact with the people, including the junior workers. Mm. It helped me to get in touch with the reality, you know. And I'll tell you two things. First, off record, I'll tell you that um, don't run diesel again. <laughs> uh, there's a little secret. I have very big generators, but I discovered that there are some generators that run on petrol and they can carry three ACs. Mm. You understand? So even me, I don't the port, small, small. You understand me? <laughs> but <laughs> doesn't that still make us the generator republic that they call us? Because <laughs> South Africa has called us the generator republic. Mm. So it, what I'm saying is, I don't want to even be running this. I don't want to run generator. Yeah, I, I the agree. sound, the, the see, noise, noise pollution. Yeah. yeah. Yes. No, addressing the issue directly is... Um, I mean, is 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 no matter the highest tariff is cheaper than diesel or petrol. I can tell you that for free. Yes. The highest tariff, which is about the sixty-eight point something as of today, mm -hmm. is cheaper by far than diesel. So we need the light. Let us sit down, have honest conversation on what is the cost-reflective tariff. What makes sense? Enlighten Nigerians. They will now know how to run our systems. We now know how to incorporate inverters. We now know how to turn off what we can't. And then we also find a way of doing a subsidy that will target the poor. I keep saying this. Mm -hmm. A subsidy that will target the poor. Subsidizing certain things for me is not okay. Do you know how many cars that Dangote has? Mm -hmm. The dollars, the obvious, the, the other, do you know how many cars they have? The banks, you are subsidizing all of them. All right. Yeah, how but if you subsidize the, that, if you, if you subsidize uh, fuel that you take into your car, it will free some money for you to also uh, do giveaway. <laughs> to the people yeah, that were. Yeah, that's, now that's even the rich true. can no longer the rich also cry yeah the, the rich moment. also cry so the people that they can do some giveaway to are suffering because they to uh that's free money is enough. no longer yeah. there anymore yeah. uh, but anyway. If, anyway listen to me brother it is a lie mm. take that for me okay it is a blatant lie that there's a level you reach. And I'm not talking of Otedola level or Dangote mm. level. Do you understand me? There's a level that you reach that additional 100,000 makes no difference to you at all. Mm. And we are talking of them in hundreds of thousands, if not millions in Nigeria today. Nigeria has two sectors, the rich and the poor. That's just what it is. Just so find out where you're falling. <laughs> Yeah, well, let let's, let's wrap it. Let's no, wrap it up, wrap it up on this Listen, segment. Let me, up end on this. let me end on this. Very important. Okay. No rich man should use this as a reason not to help the poor. You are lying. Mm. Quote me. You are lying. Every rich man, and they know the people I'm talking to, they have enough to take care of the poor. Look, going to Uyo from Abuja cost me a hundred two hundred and fifty thousand naira. A return ticket. Cost me 500,000. I mean, I've reached that level. God has helped me. I'm, I've retired. Goodness. Do you understand me? Mm. Now, yesterday, I was to go back. I looked at the ticket. 250,000. Somewhere down the line, scroll down, because usually agents or my people buy from me. Once in a while, I buy it myself. I scroll down, and I saw what? I saw 80,000 in economy. Now, if I fly economy, who will die? Nobody will die. So why don't I say, I fly economy today. That gives me a differential of about 170,000 Naira. Mm -hmm. Brother, do you know what 150,000 Naira will do? 
it will give 150 people one 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 thousand because I decided to fly economy. Okay. One hour to your this is, this is where we have to wrap it up sadly. But we always love having these conversations with you because there is banter and you know it's just it's just good and, and intellectual conversations. Thank you so much, architect, for joining us. Thank you. Fellow you so son. Yes, thank sir. you. <laughs> <laughs> you had to say that. Yeah. All right, thank All you right, very thank much. Thank you sir. so much. Have a good day. Um, we've been speaking with Ezekiel Inya Etok, he's a public affairs analyst, and we've just been reviewing the papers. Anyways, we'll go on a short break, look at what the weather is saying, and when we return, we'll be speaking on our first hot topic. Please stay with us.